In this video, we're going to take a look at the wait command and those problematic uh, until button press, until bump, until encoder counts, or all of these commands shut down our program and essentially hold it hostage, making us unable to move on to the next line of code. Let's take a look at my example code here. So in this loop, um, I've just it's, have a loop that says while true, it's going to execute these four commands. So I essentially wrote this as a like a kind of a very 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 simple like sentry type robot. So we've got um, our robot walking across, walking back, walking across, walking back. So he's going one direction for ten for ten seconds, going back for ten seconds. But we want this guy to be like guarding our our fortress here, and uh, for those ten seconds, he can't do anything else but just wait, just do nothing but continue to run that motor forward for ten seconds. It starts the motor back the other direction and goes does that for ten seconds. Can't do anything else but wait. Now we'd like our robot to be able to do something else during that time. So what do we do with those pesky wait commands? How do we make our robot more agile? How do we make it be able to read other sensors at the same time? So uh, Robot C has some built-in timers, and we can use those timers to uh, simulate a wait uh, by clearing our timer and then using a while loop. And that while loop is set for just a certain amount of time, and that time is going to be in milliseconds. So let's see that in action. So let's go about replacing this wait command with a clear timer. Uh, we'll do T1. And actually, let's make sure that's T1. And we will also do a while loop that says time one uh, T1 uh, is less than 10,000 milliseconds. And then we'll just put some brackets in here with nothing in between them. And those four lines are essentially the same as this one line, this weight. And I can just copy and paste that right in here. And I will have functionally the same thing as before. But now it gives me the ability to add in other things like this. Like um, if... Uh, sensor value of let's say a sonar was less than 20 or something like that and then I could trigger I could, let's just stop the motor right so he's gonna stop he's gonna throw an alarm of some sort um, so previously we couldn't just stop the motor at any point uh, we'd have to wait for those 10 seconds to elapse but here we can quickly just say "Uh oh intruder alert and now stop the motor and of course I could copy that and put it in between these brackets and if I fix my formatting it will all run and will run well. Let's compile just to verify that I've got everything correct. Just don't have sensor value listed correctly. Um, that's all good. So um, try to utilize the clear timer and while um, commands to make your code more agile to be able to utilize multiple sensors at the same time or virtually the same time what seems like the same time uh, and you're going to have uh, much more success with your projects going forward.